Hello everybody and welcome back to the All About Favor channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. I pray that you all had a good weekend. Let's get right into it. Um, I want to give you something to think about today. Have you ever had a favorite item or favorite article of clothing that was in need of repair or in need of replacement? Just think about that for a moment. How many things do you have in your possession that really needs either fixing or throwing out? I wanted to use that illustration today because that is some things our personal lives need to do an inventory. There are some things in our lives that need fixing or throwing out. <clears throat> so today's topic, I'm going to talk about things that's in need of repair or have you decided to replace it. And believe it or not, sometimes we like to hold on to things and keep putting glue on it or are trying to keep repairing it to salvage it when we need to just throw it out and start fresh. That's what I'm talking about today. Starting fresh, replacing and repairing. If you don't remember anything else today from today's video, remember those two words, repair and replace. We sometimes in our lives experience brokenness, hurt, bitterness, but no matter what we have experienced, we have experienced some things in life. And no matter what we go through, we always have to remember that God can repair and God can restore and he certainly can replace. Don't feel bad when you think you're losing things or have lost things because you know what? They're just some things God is giving you a hint or a warning that you know what? This needs replacing or something in your character needs repairing, meaning you need fixing. Now, it's nothing wrong with owning that saying, you know what, it's something been broken here and I need it fixed. But in order to get something fixed, you got to first be honest and identify that this thing is malfunctioning. Do you feel like something in your life is malfunctioning or have malfunctioned for some time now and you just haven't taken the time to do anything about it? Today is the day to get started. You've got to be, though, a willing participant. God is not just going to come in and replace and repair something if you're not a willing participant. If you are going to fight against God coming in, making some changes that are necessary changes, by the way, it's not going to work. So you have to be a willing participant to get things done. This is a process. Things are not going to change overnight, but you've got to start somewhere. Now, let me say this. There are attacks. The enemy attacks us, and these attacks, sometimes the disappointments, the letdowns, those things are going to come. The enemy has a knack for just coming at the right time. He has a knack for always arranging all types of events and situations to cause a lot of damage. But when this damage is being caused, you've got to be honest and, and right away say, something is wrong here, something is broken here, something gotta be fixed. This has to change and it has to be done expeditiously. See, God is a master craftsman when it comes to repairing things. It doesn't matter what the enemy sends your way. It doesn't matter what the enemy throws at you and tries to break down and, and upset you. God is a master craftsman at restoration. So when the enemy is doing what they're supposed to do, their little dirty work to prevent or to hinder your healing, hinder your blocking, your deliverance, You've got to speak words of affirmation. And one of the things that is good that I use, I always say, no matter what I'm going through, I know God is a restorer. I know, God, you're going to repair this. I know you're going to fix this like I can't fix it in the natural, but I know you can. And I want you to start using that affirmation. No matter what, Lord, you are a restorer. Lord, you are a healer. You are a deliverer. Lord, I know you can come to my rescue and set me free. I know 
that you are real and I know that you are going to fix this situation. See, God already has a plan for your life and you've got to always believe and, and, and believe this in your spirit that there is no weapon that is formed. What that means is a lot of people quote that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but you've got to break those words down and know that you know what it means. That means it doesn't matter what is devised, what is created, whatever is invented, whoever plots, plan, whatever chaotic situation, toxic situation, whatever thing that the enemy sends your way to break your spirit, to make you feel less than, to hurt your feelings because words do hurt whatever is thrown at you whatever weapon because a weapon is designed to hurt you a weapon is what you use to attack someone so no matter what weapon that is thrown at you it won't work prosper it won't prosper meaning this is not going to grow this is not going to go anywhere i'm not going to give this life everybody with me so far so no weapon no device that anyone can throw at you it will not prosper it ain't going nowhere because i know that god is on my side and i shall not fear what any man can do unto me and you've got to say that with conviction and know that you know no matter what y'all get yourself focused find your balance and no matter what you're doing you protect your peace and make your peace a priority. Thank you so much for watching. I pray that today's video, we kicking the week off with some positive affirmations because believe me, if you have not been through a season of testing, when it comes, you better be prepared. You don't wait to get prepared for a storm. You already have your storm supplies in your pantry, already have your water in your home. So you've got to be prepared at all times when the attacks come. Get focused, find balance, and protect your peace. Thank you so much for watching. At the end of the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Share the video with other people. And by all means, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. I'll see you back tomorrow. I've got some good topics this week. Have a wonderful day.